Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I have done two previous videos over the last couple years showing what's on the roof of my motorhome. And I wanted to do a new updated video because I have added some new things that I wanted to show you. I have a very complicated roof, I think. So climb up on top with me and I'll show you what's up there. I'm here at Canyon Lake, Texas. It didn't rain last night, but there is still a lot of dew on the ground this morning. So I'm going to start off by giving you an overall view of the roof. And then I'm going to start from the front here. I have seven antennas up front. This is my cell phone booster antenna. And this one is my Wi-Fi booster antenna. This one up front here is AM FM radio. And this is CB radio antenna. However, after I installed that, I found out that those types of small CB radio antennas do not work on fiberglass motorhomes. So I had to get what's called a no ground plane antenna, which is much larger. That is mounted on the side there. Then back here is my satellite dome antenna and an over the air TV reception antenna. Also up front, I have this spotlight that I can make turn left, right, and up and down if I need to spotlight something. And then here is 300 watt solar panel. Then right behind there is my living room air conditioner. And this is a 180 watt solar panel. And I have another 180 watt solar panel right here. And this is the vent cover over the kitchen dining area. And this is a vent cover over the bathroom. And this is the skylight over the shower. And funny thing is you see that's black when you're in the shower looking up it looks completely white <laughs> seems like a strange thing to me and I don't even know why they would choose black for the skylight cover and this is a waste tank storage vent and it's the both the gray and the black tank come up to that vent it's called a cyclone type and you can see it spins around like that when you're driving it spins around to find the wind direction and somehow I'm not sure how somehow that helps it expel the fumes from the gray and black tank then I have two more 300 watt solar panels with my bedroom air conditioner in between so with the three 300 watt solar panels plus the two 180s I now have 1260 watts of solar panels and they are not mounted to be tilted I just chose to not get into the panel tilting thing but they can be modified or in originally installed to be tilting panels I just decided not to do that and this long black thing sticking out is the slide topper to my big slide. And this is the slide topper to my bedroom slide and the one to my living room slide. And the purpose of the slide toppers is so that when you pull in the slides, you don't also pull in various debris and water that would be on it because that could damage the top of the slide. So this is what some people call a slide awning. 
and it's very important to have those otherwise you could get all sorts of junk on top of your slide which could cause it to malfunction so here's a view from the back going forward I just recently put in these two 180 solar panels and I'm hoping that could be enough because I found that 900 watts was not enough for me to keep my batteries charged I've got room here actually for two more solar panels I'm hoping I don't have to do that <laughs> and you can see that a big portion of my roof is taken up with these various components and by the way the roof here is very safe to walk on anywhere on it it's built to be safe to walk on it's very structurally sound now one of the problems having so much stuff on the roof like this is that when I'm driving down the road especially small roads city streets I have to be very careful when anything is going to hit my roof trees branches it's a constant problem driving around small streets or highways and I have hit tree branches many times and the only time it's really done any damage is one time when my satellite antenna hit a branch and actually knocked it off and it fell down onto the highway while I was driving oh man that was uh, one of my worst days in my driving my motorhome it just went tumbling down the highway and of course damaged it so much that it couldn't be put back and I had to get a new one and those things cost about fifteen hundred dollars to replace so ever since then <laughs> I have become very careful in going under low branches and that dome antenna is the tallest item on the roof here which gives me a 12 and a half foot clearance I think it's like 12 foot 5 inches <laughs> so I could barely squeeze under something that's 12 and a half feet but that's still risky to do now like most motorhomes I do not have a ladder built in on the back so I carry this portable ladder and having one on the back is convenient but then this gives me the ability to place that ladder anywhere around the motorhome where I need it and I want to close out this video by showing you a close-up of the CB antenna here the way it's mounted on the side and the spotlight on the front you can see right there so I thought this video might give you some ideas of things you might want to do with your RV good day folks